আমরা মহারাজকে ওয়েলকাম করব তিন বার মুজি বলব আল্লাহর মাতে হরি বোল হরি বোল হরি বোল কৃষ্ণ দেশ ভক্তি বিঘ্ন বিনাশ নরসিং সাই মহারাজ কি এখন মহারাজকে মাল্যদান করছি আপনার সকল গুরু থেকে জয় রাধা মাধব কুঞ্জ বিহারী
नमः ओम विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय बुद्धले श्रीमाते भक्ते वेदांत स्वामी इति नमने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवानी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष सन्यवादी पश्चात्यदेश तारिने so I had the good fortune about 50 years ago I contacted Srila Prabhupada's literature. I read one of his books. Hare Krishna. Tamara Pisa Subaguchilo, the Alti Ponchas Buchur Purbe, I'm Srila Prabhupada Gonti Shans Processing. I had been searching, I've been reading a lot of different books by a lot of different so called spiritual teachers. Tami onike but reading Srila Prabhupada's book was a very different experience from what I had from the other teachers. It was very different because when I read Srila Prabhupada's book, I, I felt like every sentence was very meaningful for me. Whereas the other books which I read, I don't know what they were talking about. Later on, Srila Prabhupada describes those kind of teachers that they're very expert in what he called word jugglery. They would, they would speak a lot, say a lot of things, but no meaning. But Srila Prabhupada's teaching were very clear, very meaningful, very purposeful. So I had the good fortune to take initiation from him and to get more involved in Krishna Consciousness Society. And I think it was 1975, I came to Calcutta and I spent a few years in Calcutta working there with so the devotees in the temple. We could experience at that time that there was great potential for making, for getting congregation and for having the support of the public that they were generally all, generally everyone was interested and favorable to Krishna consciousness. And, uh, I could, we could understand the public, the people in Calcutta were very favorable, they liked our Krishna consciousness movement. But at that time we didn't know how to involve them in our Krishna consciousness movement. We were all young people and we were working to establish the temple. We were renting the house at number 3 Albert Road. And then that, at that time, we had very limited facility. We had very less water and no proper bathing or toilet arrangement. We had one toilet in the whole place. So when Srila Prabhupada came, that was Prabhupada's toilet. 
So we all went to bathe in the lake across the road. Right? You know that big pakor, the big lake opposite the temple there? Yes. Yes. The road? yes. So we were bathing there every morning. Haribo. Yeah. This was a little. We, we all like to do some service for Srila Prabhupada, but we didn't have much opportunity how to serve. We, did, we didn't have much to offer Prabhupada, to give Prabhupada. <laughs> Just like I remember in London, when Prabhupada, uh, well, before Prabhupada came to London, one devotee had come from USA. So the one devotee came from USA, he came from Los Angeles, where they had a big temple. So Prabhupada, uh, oh, that devotee came from Los Angeles and he came to London and he saw our temple, we had a very small temple, not very big, but we were, we were about 100 people living there in the temple. So Los Angeles Many people were joining. Uh, that Subhak, Subhak was there. At that time it was Subhak Brahmachari. He, he joined there in London. London so the devotee came from America and he saw our temple. He said, "This is no good. Prabhupada can't stay here. This temp this is not big enough. This room is not big enough. It's not good enough for Prabhupada." So he wrote to Prabhupada. He said, "Prabhupada, next time you come to London." We will get you a nice room in the hotel. We will get you a suite in the hotel. But Prabhupada wrote, he said, I'm not going to stay in hotel. I want to stay in temple. So Prabhupada hotel and he said, that room there may be small, but I'm happy there. So we were all very happy to know Prabhupada's mood. Just like when we would come to Mayapur, when we came to Mayapur like 1976, 75, 76, we didn't have much place. Right? That Bhajan Kutir is there at the entrance. That was the original building. And then the first building to be constructed was the Lotus building. Okay. So, Lotus building, three floors, and not a lot of rooms, few so, rooms. The Lotus building, Tintola building. And the Radhamadava, the small Radhamadava were there in the ground floor. And so, devotees would all come from the western countries, many from America and Australia, Europe, they come for the Gorpurnima festival. 
বিভিন্ন আমেরিকা ইউরোপ থেকে বিদেশি ভক্তরা আসত গোর পূর্ণিমা উৎসবে গোর পূর্ণিমা অনুষ্ঠানে সো এভরিওয়ান উইল জাস্ট স্লিপ ওয়্যার এভার দে কুড ফাইন্ড দ্য স্পেস অন দ্য ফ্লোর তো তারা যেখানে পারতো শুয়ে পড়তো বারান্দা আরে যেখানে পারতো শুয়ে পড়তো দ্যার ওয়াজ নট এনাফ রুমস ফর এভরিওয়ান তো তাদের জন্য কোন থাকার সুব্যবস্থা ছিল রুম ছিল না কোন সো ইটস এ বিট ডিফিকাল্ট But Prabhupada would tell all the devotees, don't mind the difficulty. When we come to the Holy Dham, we come to the Holy Dham to get purified. And the austerities which we undergo in the Holy Dham, are helping to purify us. তো এই ধামে এসে যে আমরা তপস্যা করছি এই তপস্যা করার মাধ্যমে আমরা শুদ্ধ হই। ভিবো and if we don't do austerity then how can we go back to god? আর আমরা যদি তপস্যা না করি তাহলে ভগবানের কাছে কি হয়ে যাব? ফিরে যাব। we do uh, just like rishab dev and shrimad bhagavatam lord rishab dev is telling is preaching to his 100 sons tamare tibo bhagavatam e rishabh er tar 100 putro ke tini upadesh dichhilen shrila prabhupad was very fond of this verse she often spoke from this verse to shrila prabhupad ei shlok ta bar bar tini uddhito dite nayam deho dehat baham bacham nirloke khushtam kumar nahati vid bujam ye te do te jo divyam putra kare na sakvam আসক্ত is getting ready to go into vanaprast he's giving up his kingdom and he's going to go into the forest for or doing tapasya to rishabh tini ta rajyo ta kore tini vanaprastho mite jachhilen so he is telling his sons Sen- sense gratification is there even for the pigs and the dogs which eat stool to rishabh bole ta putto de যে এই ইন্দ্রিয় দীপ্তি সবাই ভোগ করছে এবং কি শুকরাও এই ইন্দ্রিয় দীপ্তি ভোগ করছে জেনারেলি পিপল আর ইন্টারেস্টেড ইন লো গ্রেট সেন্স গ্র্যাটিফিকেশন দ্য সেম প্লেজারস অফ দ্য ডগস ইন দ্য হক্স তো সাধারণত মানুষরা এই তুচ্ছ ইন্দ্রিয় দীপ্তি ভোগ করতে চায় যেটা এই শুকর এবং কুকুরেরাও ভোগ করে থাকে they will like to fill the belly they want to they're, they're happy if they can fill the belly means eat a lot of food to very happy to e je mane era sukol kukur ra beshi khabar pele khub khushi hoy the pig the very happy and you give them a big bucket of pig food tabe je era sukol ke ore khabar de ek bucket to khushi hoy is a simple materialistic people for them the goal of life is to simply to eat to ta jara jordagutik manush tader uddeshyo hocche ki khawa odik porimane shri lok prabhat would put charak charvaka muni charvaka muni said beg borrow or steal but eat ghee to popa tini charvaka muni ekta uddeshyo dichhilen যে চারবার মুনি বলছে যে তুমি ঘি খাও ঋণ করে হলো ইজ দ্যাট এ গুড ফিলোসফি এটা যে খুব ভালো একটা দর্শন ব্যাগ বরো অর স্টিল মানে ভিক্ষা করো না হলে ধার করো না হলে চুরি করো বাট শু ই ঘি কিন্তু তোমার ঘি খাওয়া উচিত দ্যাট দ্যাটস নট দ্য গোল অফ লাইফ এটা আমাদের জীবনের উদ্দেশ্য So Lord Rishabh Dev is telling his sons human life is not meant for living like the dogs and the pigs 
তার হিসাবে তার ভক্তদের বলছেন যে মনুষ্য জীবনের উদ্দেশ্য যা নয় কুকুর এবং শুকরের মতো জীবনযাপন করে Human life is meant for controlling the mind and the senses. The manusya jivan ko utsho hote ki mohan ebong indriya gulo ke sangrahit kora. That is tapasya. That is the austerity which we are supposed to do. Eta hocche amader tapasya jeta amader prottekei koroni. We control the mind and the senses. We don't just eat anything and everything. আমাদের সব নিয়ন্ত্রণ করা হচ্ছে ইন্দ্রিয়দের এই এই নয় যে যা কিছু পাবো সব কিছু আমি খেয়ে নেব just now there's a big problem probably most of you know how in china there's a big problem with some uh, epidemic big disease spreading everywhere আপনারা জানেন যে এটা চায়নার একটা বিশেষ রোগ আসছে মহামারী চারিদিকে ছড়িয়ে পড়ছে চায়নাতে why কেন because people eat everything kana manush sab kichu khe niche few people only can control the tongue khub komi manush ache jara jate jiwake niyantran korche the mass of people eat everything ar odhikansho manush sab kichu khe niche you name it they eat it whatever flies in the sky whatever swims in the sea whatever scrolling in the ground dora sob kichu khele akashe ja kichu ore jole jole ja kichu royeche jolocho ebong sthole ja kichu dekhte pachhe sob khele chai na to dog snake kukur saap this kind of things eglo khele there some restaurants they offer many different varieties all चिंताजे <laughs> We, we used to say very hard for Bengali people to become devotee. They cannot eat fish. How will they ever live if they can't eat fish? The Bengali da bhakto the dekho kosto. Kerala thara e maachir poti asukto. Maach ki bhi chhara de bhakto the ke to maach chhara. But the fish is coming from the sea, and what's going in the sea? All everything, all your stool and urine, everything is going in there in that sea. আর এই মাছগুলো কোথা থেকে আসছে সমুদ্র থেকে আর সমুদ্রের মধ্যে সব মল মূত্র সব কিছু পড়ছে ওগুলো খাচ্ছে লোক ইমোনা দ্য পলুশন লোক এট গঙ্গা এন্ড লোক এট দ্য সি ফুল অফ সো মাচ গার্বেজ সো মাচ পলুশন আর যে যমুনা দেখুন গঙ্গা দেখুন সমুদ্র সব জায়গা থেকে কত নোংরা আবর্জনা ইউ আর গোইং টু ইট দ্য ফিশ দ্য ক্রিচারস হুইচ লিভ देयर ইন দ্য সি ইউ মাস্ট বি ম্যাড তো আপনি ভাবুন যে এই এই সব জিনিস যদি খান মাছ তো তাহলে এই সব নগর জিনিস তাহলে খাচ্ছে তার থেকে বড় হচ্ছে and of course sometimes even you get people in bengal they will tell the people no no it's okay you can eat fish fish is the fruit of the sea তারে বাঙালি বলতে যে না না এই মাছ খেতে পারে এটা মাছটা ঠিকই জলের ফল this cheating is going on and there's probably said two classes of people the cheaters and the cheated to ei bhabe potar na cholche popat bolche je dui shreni manush royeche eta je potaro ar je potarito so some people they tell they say what the people like to hear to manush bole je gulo manush sunte cha but we are meant for speaking the truth কিন্তু আমরা যেটা বলছি সেটা কিন্তু সত্য বলছি people may not like to hear the truth but we cannot change the truth হতে পারে হতে পারে মানুষ এটা পছন্দ করবে না কিন্তু আমরা এই সত্যকে পরিবর্তন করতে পারি we try to make it as pleasing as possible we try to please people probably said we should speak the truth but we should try to make it also pleasing তো পপ বলছে আমাদের সত্য বলা উচিত কিন্তু তাদের 
Right? We should go to people and say, My dear sir, you are so great, you're such a noble soul, you're so magnanimous, please accept the shelter of the lotus feet of Gornita. Right? Somehow or other, we should get people to take the mercy of Lord Nityananda. Anyway, Lord Rishabdev was telling his sons, Human life is meant for doing some austerity. That austerity is to control the mind and senses. By that tapasya, we will experience real pleasure. People want pleasure. They do not know what is real pleasure. They are thinking the pleasure is to serve the tongue and to fill the belly. Oh, the pleasure is to sleep more. The dog or the bear can sleep so many months in the winter time. And the pig can eat so much. We cannot eat like the pig. And we cannot sleep like the bear. Mm -hmm. We're not meant for just eating and sleeping. We're meant to do we're meant to do this little bit tapasya. So what is that tapasya? That is Every day chanting 16 rounds Hare Krishna Mantra. And following the four principles. Right? Four principles. Where do these four principles come from? They're from Shastra. Satyam Socham Daya Tapa. Satya Daya Tapa Socham. Right? In Srimad Bhagavatam, the legs of the bull, the, leg, the legs of Dharma. Dharma is a bull. She's, he stands on four legs. Satyam, truthfulness. Satyam, cleanliness. Daya, mercy. Daya manoche koruna. And tapa, austerity. Tapa manoche tapasya. The austerity. To be, to be humble. To think of ourselves, as Lord Chaitanya said, lower than the straw in the street. To amadi ki yotri binamur hoto. Maapu ki bolte. When Lord Chaitanya Shikshasti come, He has told us what should be our thinking. We should think, Tranada pi sunichena tarora pi sunichena. Do you all know? Tranada pi sunichena tarora pi sunichena. Amarina amarina kitarina sari. We can say it. Can we follow it? Right. We have to be humble. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj also says how describes his humility. Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj, Trita Doyno Tapakas Korachan. 
jagai madai haiti munishe papista puru shera kiti kita haiti munishe lagista he says i am more sinful than jagai and madai jagai madai haiti munishe papista puru shera kiti haiti munishe je ami jagai madai theko papi Mm, yeah, Janga and Manta were very sinful, but Krishna Das Kavira said, I'm more sinful than them. I'm lower than the worm in the stool. Anyone who hears my name, they lose all their pious activities. নিত্যানন্দ তাই নিতান্ত হচ্ছে এত দয়াল এসেছেন সমস্ত পতিত জীবকে উদ্ধার করার জন্য আর শিল প্রভাব হচ্ছে নিতান্ত বহুল প্রতিনিধি কৃষ্ণ কনসিয়াসনেস টু দ্য হোল ওয়ার্ল্ড শিল প্রভাব এই কৃষ্ণ ভাবন আমি তো শিক্ষানন্দের Bengal and Navadvi they gave the holy name they gave the message of Krishna Anitanta Prabhu Haridas Thakur Bangla Navadipe giye sekane hori naam prachar korche Then later on Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur brought the holy name all over Bengal and Arissa Atar pore Bhakti Vinod Thakur tini Bangla ebong Odisha e hori naam prachar korle And then Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati brought his brought the message in the form of the godia math all over india in the big cities the tarpur sri bhakti sidan sri thakur tini ei hori naam ke bharate bibhinna jagat tini prachar korle then sri prabhupad continued to distribute that holy name all over the world and tarpur sri popar sei tari pur tari continue mane che শ্রাবণাদি মহারাজ মহারাজ পরীক্ষিত সুখদেব গোস্বামীকে ভাগবতে জিজ্ঞাসা করছে কি এই সৃষ্টি হয়েছে সো সুখদেব গোস্বামী ফর দিস আ ভেরি বিগ সাবজেক্ট বিফোর আই টেল ইউ দ্য প্রো আই উইল ফার্স্ট অফ অল অফার প্রেয়ার্স টু দ্য লর্ড দ্যাট হি উইল এমপাওয়ার মি টু স্পিক তো সুখদেব গোস্বামী বলে যে এই সৃষ্টি তত্ত্ব অনেক বড় বিষয় তাই এটা বলার পূর্বে আমাকে ভগবানের প্রার্থনা করতে হবে যাতে তার শক্তি পায় তো তার শক্তিতে শক্তিমান হলে আমি So one of the prayers which Sukadev offered, he mentions, he says, Kiritahu nandra pulinda pokasha 
abir shumba yavana kasha daya yanye chapapa yada pashraya shraya shivyanti tasmai prabha vishnave namaha Shukadeva Goswami is describing, he's listing different races of people around the planet who are addicted to sins. Right. Kirita, Kirita prophecy means Africans. Kirat Mare Popal was in Africa. Prabhupada went to Africa. There's a nice story. I'll tell you the story. Prabhupada in Kenya. The Popa is from Africa in Kenya. So Prabhupada came off the flight and you know he changed his took bath and changed his dress and gave his clothes for washing. The Popa second San Kore Tal Kapur ki Purishka Kodatimi. <laughs> so that evening Prabhupada wanted to put, you know, get the cloth again and the servant said, Prabhupada, I can't find your cloth. I hung them out to dry. It's not there now. So Prabhupada, anyways, I have a spare set of cloth, I'll put on the spare set. Then Prabhupada, that evening, he goes in the temple room to give the class. And then he saw the devotees. One devotee was wearing his kirta, another devotee was wearing his dhoti. The different devotees they took Prabhupada's cloth for themselves. <laughs> so, you know, that nature is there in people before they become Krishna conscious. <laughs> Kirita means African. Kirita Hunandra, Hans, the Europeans, the Germans, like that. The Kirat Manache African, a Hun Manache Germanis. The last one, Kasha, Kasha Desh, means China. A Kasha Manache Chinese. They're also listed there. Said, Sukadeva Goswami said they can all be delivered by the mercy of a devotee. Today, Right, who is that devotee? That is Lord Nityananda and Lord Nityananda's representatives. We want to continue to give the mercy of Lord Nityananda. There was one devotee. He'd been a devotee anyway for some time. And he was he got in some difficulties and he got involved with some sinful activity. So they told Prabhupada what he was doing. And Prabhupada said, You should tell him. I will give him up. I will reject him if he does not stop this at once. So the devotee was shocked. The devotee said, Prabhupada, would you really give up that devotee? Would you really reject him? Prabhupada said, I can never give him up. The mercy of Lord Nityananda is unlimited. Nityananda Prabhu ki. Right. Who wants the mercy of Lord Nityananda? 
You know how you get the mercy of Lord Nityananda? You have to take up the mission of Lord Nityananda to deliver Jagai and Madhai. Right? Don't go to all the pious people. Go to all the sinful people and deliver them. Right. Prabhupada taught us. He said, hunt the rhinoceros. When you go hunting, you should hunt for a big beast like a rhinoceros. So when you go hunting, if you if you go hunting for rabbits, and you miss the rabbit, everyone, oh, you missed. <laughs> but if you go hunt for a rhinoceros, oh, well, very difficult. Very, you were very brave to just even try to hunt a rhinoceros. So this is the mood of Lord Nityananda. Prabhupada had that mood. Prabhupada trains us in this mood to hunt for the, the rhinoceros, go for the big thing. The Just like we are building this big temple here, this temple of the Vedic planetarium. Right, one of the wonders of the world. Right, we hope in the, in the future people will appreciate more this wonderful temple. So this is Prabhupada's vision. He wants us to do big things. And we do it by preaching. Bhakti Priksha is preaching, giving Krishna consciousness to others. Just like uh, Prabhupada told us how in, in the city of Kanpur, there's one family there, JK, I think it's JK Industries. So they're very devoted to Krishna. They have a Krishna temple in their home. The Pope Kanpur Kanpur family chilo, JK Industries, chilo. So Prabhupada was telling, he said they have the custom. Every day, if anybody in the family does not come to visit the temple to see the deity, then they get fined. Right? The Pujari will come and say, Oh, you did not come yesterday for darshan, you have to pay the fine. And so it's a custom in that family. Everybody knows if they don't come to see deity, they have to pay fine. So Srila Prabhupada also said he was in Los Angeles temple at the time, giving Bhagavatam class. And, and Prabhupada was telling all the devotees, same way, if you don't come, Mongol Arti, they have to pay the fine. The Pope Tavar say Aki Kata Vulture. The Tumid Mongol Arti the Naso, Mongol Fine Nita. And the fine will be, you must distribute one Krishna book. I say, Pine Dajiki, Saradina Mutamaka book, the Krishna book, Mitan Gutu, Gutan Gutu. All right? Take it. Prabhupada's order. Let the Pope Tavar need this. We hope you will all come to Mangalarti. And we hope you will also distribute Krishna book. 
the very wonderful book. That was the first book I got before I became devotee. So I have great love for that book. I like to distribute it. Because from that book you learn everything about Krishna. So many people write Bhagavad Gita. We see in India, so many Bhagavad Gita are there. But who, but who wrote Krishna book? Only Prabhupada. Prabhupada didn't just give only Bhagavad Gita. He gave us also Krishna in the form of Krishna book. And he gave us the wonderful deities like Radha Madhava here in Mayapur. And if you go around the world in different countries, you can see so many beautiful deities how they are worshipped, so gorgeous, so beautiful, so opulent. And all Prabhupada's mercy. He wants all of us to take the shelter of Lord Nityananda and to serve Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Right? Prabhupada was asked, we were, because we only had the Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pastaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Dinamani. But then we heard how there were four verses glorifying Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati. So devotees said to Prabhupada, can we get another verse to glorify you? Pranam mantra. Yes. Second part. Second verse. Bhakti Siddhanta has four pranam mantra. Yeah, Prabhupada only had one in the beginning. Later on, we asked him to give another one. So, our next part, Prabhupada pranam mantra, four line. The Bhakti Siddhanta Sri Thakur is eight line, eight line as well. So Prabhupada himself composed that second pranam mantra. Namaste Sarasati Devi. He is a servant of his spiritual master. Gauravani Pracharine, he's preaching the message of Lord Chaitanya. Nirvisesha Shunyavadi, to dis destroy impersonalism and voidance. Paschachatejatarini, in the western countries. Paschachatejatarini. But Prabhupada never forgot India and he was very eager to establish Krishna consciousness here in India. Kalkata was his home. So whenever he would come to Mayapur, he would first of all visit Calcutta Temple. You like to see the temple maintained nicely there. And sometimes he would have to bring devotees to come from foreign countries to help to establish the temple. He would bring people from foreign countries. He would tell people to come from America or from Europe to come to India to help preach. 
তো আমরা অনেক সময় পাশ্চাত্য জগৎ থেকে ভক্তদের এখানে নিয়ে আসি যারা এখানে এসে প্রচার করে বিদেশি ভক্তদের এখানে নিয়ে আসছিল Right, dancing white elephants. Just like if they have, we have big elephants here in Mayapur. Right? And if we have the white elephant, and if it dances, oh, many people will come. If we have the white elephant, and if it dances, oh, many people will come. Everybody wants to see. So, so Prabhupada brought people like me and so many other disciples. We came here to India and Mayapur and helped to do some small service. Now it is your work. You have to take up this work. I am old man now. And white people are not so longer, not so attractive anymore here in India. You need the local people. So, So you should dedicate yourself to this Krishna Consciousness Movement. Take up some service. Help Srila Prabhupada. And in this way you make your life successful. Srila Prabhupada Ki! Okay, any question? I was here the other night when Jananivas was giving class. He got so many nice questions. I was here at night and 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 I was here at night. So I thought next time I speak to the, the devotees, I also want to ask any questions. Um, you can speak Bengali, it's okay. Can you speak Bengali? You, you can speak. He will translate. Oh, no. If you know English, okay. Speak. I know English, but a little bit often, so nice. Up to you. My question is, uh, Prabhupada, uh, Prabhupada's uh, book, Back to Godhead, That means uh, living entity have come from that uh, spiritual world and then he uh, uh, fall down uh, in this world. Uh, so, uh, Prabhupada uh, explained every living, living entity that uh, their duty is to return to Godhead. Is it true? Okay. So that means uh, all living things uh, already uh, had uh, lived, uh, lived in that uh, spiritual world and, and they uh, fall down for their fault. So uh, Prabhupada uh, give, our, give uh, her, his mercy. 
to return to the back, uh, back to body. The source he, he uh, want to uh, uh, want to tell us the peace back to body. So I am asking you. So is it true that we have lived uh, that uh, spiritual world? Okay, now you speak in Bengali so everybody can hear. Yeah, I mean, I have been talking about the first time, and I have been talking about the first time, and I have been talking about the first time. Prabhupada, when you write the word back to Godhead, back to Godhead, I mean, I have been talking about the first time, and I have been talking about it. तभी तो फिरे चला कोता टा आस्त है तो ताहले की शब्द लिविंग एंटिटी ओखनी कि आगे थे कि बार्ष कोच्चीलो अर्थ तो कोच्चीलो जब उन तब उन वही वही आधारित था में कि कोई शेफ एक ता ये लोगों में फॉल्ट कर लो जो जान फॉल्ट शेफ ने फॉलिंग हो लो ओके वेरी गुड वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन Yes, Prabhupada took the title Back to Godhead as a title for his magazine, indicating that we are all originally Krishna conscious. Hmm. If you listen to Prabhupada's uh, in introduction to the chanting of Hare Krishna mantra, he begins by saying, "By nature, we are all originally Krishna conscious." Apna jodi pofa de Hare Krishna mahamante mane bhumi ka saban kore de lecture de Hare Krishna mahamante samande. Isse kahan pofa de bolche je amade bhukit bhukit Krishna mahamana moi chila Bhagwan ne kache. So. How long we've been here in this material world? A very long time. When did we come in this material world? That is hard to say. Just like when did we fall asleep last night? Do you remember the exact time when you went to sleep? Yeah, we don't remember. In the same way, we've been here in this material world a very long time. But by nature, we are all spiritual beings. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Mamme Vamsa Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. The living entities are eternally my part and partial. Bhagavad Bhagavad Gita te bol che, Putra Jiva che amar Amsa. And also in Bhagavad Gita, he describes a pariyamita stvanyam prakritim vidime param jiva bhuta mahabaho yeidam daryate jagat. That Krishna is talking about his energies and he describes there is another energy of mine which are all living entities. Bhagavan Bhagavad Gita te bolchen je sekare dutto pukiti roche. Ekta pukiti roche. So we are all Krishna's prakriti. Right. We are the superior prakriti. There's the inferior prakriti, the table, these objects of material world. We are the living entities. We are the superior prakriti. We have consciousness. Our consciousness is originally pure. Just like the rain, 
when it falls from the sky, it's originally pure, clean, pure water. As soon as it contacts the ground, comes in, 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 in touch with the material air, it becomes contaminated. This in the same way, we as spirit souls are all pure, spiritual by nature, but we come in contact with the material energy. Srila Prabhupada's spiritual master, Om Vishnupad, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada describes, he gives an example about a tau fruit. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada Guru Dev, Namam Vishnupad, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, so tall fruit falls from the tree. So, so there's some discussion. Why did the fruit fall? One man said fell because it was ripe. Other man said no. It fell because a bird landed on the tree, and when the bird landed on the tree, that caused the fruit to fall. So the two men, they argued. And the other man, he comes and he eats the fruit. Right? So we can spend a lot of time trying to understand how we got here in this world. It's a difficult thing to understand. But the easiest thing to understand is how to go back to Godhead. So Srila Prabhupada said, just like when you get a disease, you don't worry thinking, how did I get this? You just want to get cured. So Lord Chaitanya has given the medicine for this disease. The chanting of the holy name. Bhagavanin Nam Jatpur. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. So the easiest thing to understand is how to go back to God. Hare Krishna. Okay. Another question? जीवन जब भक्तों चिलाम ना तो अपन से काट जोगा अपन मोने पड़े के लिए अपन भक्ति ना कुछ डिस्टर्ब हो जाए सिक्स सिक्स जैसे देखा भी क्यों बोले काटा हो ये मां भक्ति के गी जाओ। His question is that he is now fifty years old, ten years back he came to Krishna consciousness, but he had a bad experience in previous life. So in this now that things comes his mind, that things, that things. Bad things, bad inclination. Yes. So how to overcome that things? Material desires. Yes, attachment to attachment. How to overcome everything simply by practicing Krishna consciousness? The math what is it? In Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna asked Krishna. 
Sometimes I'm inclined to do sinful things, even unwilling, as if engaged by force. So, Arjun, ke, Arjun Bhagavan ke bol chen, je ami onik kichu karjo rohchi, jemon ami papmoy karjo korte bato hoychi, jodi ami chai na, kasuto. So Lord Krishna describes the reason. He said, "It is lust only, Arjuna, born of contact of the material mode of passion, transformed into wrath." How to get rid of that lust? We must regulate the senses. This by regulating the senses and by cultivating spiritual knowledge through hearing Shastra. Then use that knowledge of Shastra to preach to your mind, to control the mind when material des desires come in the mind. Yes, we have to defeat the mind. The mind is the enemy of the conditioned soul. So, we have to cultivate this knowledge, Krishna consciousness, and we have to be strict in regulating the senses. Take some determination. Mind is like a wild animal. How do they train the wild animal? First, they capture it, put it in the cage. They put it in the cage and then they don't feed it for many days. It's very hungry. And then they beat it. And then they feed it. Then the animal becomes very, he knows, this man is very powerful. He put me in this cage. He starved me for many days. Then he beat me. Now he's, now he's feeding me. I better do what he says. So mind is like the animal, wild animal. You have to starve it. The mind says, Oh, eat some fish. Oh, drink tea. Oh, let's eat the cake. It's got eggs in, but doesn't matter. Let's eat them anyway. You say, no, not going to eat. Right? This is starving the mind. And then the mind says, oh, then let, let's sleep more. Let's not go to Mongol RT. It's too early. Let's take more rest. This is beating the mind. You're going to get up. You have to get up. You have to go to Mongol Arti. If you don't go to Mongol Arti, you know you won't finish your japa. You'll be miserable all day. 
But if you go to Mongol RT, whole day will be auspicious. Get your rounds finished early. So like this, he conquered the mind. This is secret. Okay, that's it. Okay, I can question. Many questions. I have I I so, कोनो एक नोटुन काउ के प्रचार करने समय हमें कृष्ण बुक दिए चिल्ला। तो शेव व्यक्ति कृष्ण बुक पोरे तार प्रथम अध्याय बाद दिए मिडिले राश लीला एंड ऑल एक गुलनी आलोचना करते शुरू करे आमा शक्ते। तो ये विषय नहीं हमें कोनो एक भक्ति शक्ते आलोचना करी। शेव भक्त आमा के बोले कि नोटुन भक्त के कोनो कृष्ण মানে প্রথমে ছোট ছোট বই বা ভগবদ্ গীতা দিয়ে শুরু করা উচিত তো আমরা কি এখনো সেই মানে এটা কি ঠিক যে আমরা নতুন ভক্তকে কৃষ্ণভোগ দেব না আর কৃষ্ণভোগ দিয়ে প্রচার করব কারণ আমি পার্সোনালি কৃষ্ণভোগ ভীষণ ভালোবাসি এবং মানে প্রথম ওটাই পড়েছিলাম ওটা আমি খুব ভালো লেগেছিল প্রথম দিন থেকে you came to Krishna consciousness by reading Krishna book. Also, you should preach the Krishna consciousness, uh, Krishna book to other. So, you see, also came by reading Krishna book, by reading Krishna book. But once he preached on new person by giving the Krishna book, and you see, actually, that person script the first introduction thing. They actually, he was reading only the Ras Lila and, and he was discussing with her about the Ras Lila. So when he, when she go to his superior, the, the superior told her that he should not preach the Krishna book in the, for the begin, beginner people. He should give the new people to the small book like uh, Gita like that. So, is it uh, correct to uh, give uh, the new people to a small book, not give? Srila Prabhupada wrote the Krishna book for everyone. The Srila Prabhupada, Krishna Bhutta, the Nikhetan, Sakalajana. In the introduction, Prabhupada said this book is good for three kinds of people. So, Prabhupada said that this book is good for three kinds of people. So, Prabhupada said this book is good he said, one may be a pure devotee, they will take great pleasure in hearing the past tense of Krishna. The second kind of person, they're just starting Krishna consciousness. They will also be greatly benefited by hearing about Krishna. They're starting? They're just starting. Okay. And Somebody else is not a devotee at all. They just like to read about love stories and thriller stories and crime and fights and wars. It's all there in the Krishna book. So, Krishna book, can be, everything was it. Prabhupada wrote in such a way, although it's the 10th canto Srimad Bhagavatam, Prabhupada wrote it in such a manner that even one is, doesn't know anything, they can understand the teachings. Prabhupada kept it very simple and the meaning very clear. Prabhupada, of course, you have to understand he was very old when he began this Krishna consciousness movement. He didn't know how long he would live. And so he wrote the Krishna book very early on. 
Because he wanted everyone to hear pastimes of Krishna. He, he wrote that Krishna book before he translated all the other cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. He only can't translate the first canto. Then he brought out the Krishna book. Because he wanted everyone to know about Krishna's pastime. And although Rasa Lila is there, and Rasa Lila is very confidential, but Prabhupada explains it in such a way that even materialistic, sensual people who are thinking the wrong way, they will be guided to properly understand Rasa Lila. So there is no fault to let people read. Prabhu, the problem that I was going to say is that the Guru is going to be preaching on the internet. The internet for the last 10 years is a disease of the young generation. We have to go to the internet and we have to go to the internet. We have to go to the internet and we have to go to the internet. We have to go to the internet and we have to go to the internet. We have to go to the internet and we have to go to the internet. But we have to go to the internet and we have to go to the internet and we have to किंतु एक डिब्बूटी होते पड़ते हैं ना अरुण उधर समय ही नहीं उधर दिशा में डब पाए शिशु में डब के उधर इंटरनेट पे चुने लगे थे माने डेडिकेटेड टू इंटरनेट बट नॉट अबाउट दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड अबाउट इन काइंड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल मैटर्स बट दे नो द बिजी दे नो द प्रोग्राम जो � <laughs> he saw, okay, he, he was telling that in the Pumpa time, that time there was no internet. Yeah. Now internet is very prominent. So his son is a young, young, young boy. So he, he read Sri Pumpa many books. But he is claiming that he has no time. But whatever time he is getting, he is using this internet or many things. So how to call, how to solve this problem? This internet is very it's also a common problem. I think it is the problem of the young generation. They are passing this period. Yes. They are actually wasting their time by using internet. So how to solve it? It is a common problem. It is not my problem. Prabhupada was not against technology if we use it in Krishna's service. उन्हें पसंद चलो जी आवश्यक है माने बोले जी समय नहीं काज कर चुके तो जब हम समय पर इंटरनेट नहीं खा चुके तो ये तो इंटरनेट माने ये तो विशेष माने समस्या आई का दिन है पोपत पचास में इंटरनेट की समस्या चिला ना तो पोप माने बोल चुके जे टेक्नोलॉजी पोपत समस्या में बेवार करते टेक्नोलॉजी के मुद्दे को you know, you look at Facebook and somebody is giving class and there will be a hundred thousand people listening on Ab, Facebook. You know, without any expense at all, you can have a wonderful big audience to lecturing to thousands of people. So, if somebody, they, they're involved with internet, we just have to encourage them to use it in Krishna's service. We use, we need a lot of people, uh, good technicians, people who are expert in the, in the internet to distribute Krishna consciousness everywhere. 
অনেক ভক্ত রয়েছে যারা এই ইন্টারনেটের প্রযুক্তিটা কাজে লাগিয়ে কৃষ্ণ ভগবানের মতো প্রচার করছে সামনে মে বি নোইং হাউ টু টু মেক দ্য ওয়েবসাইটস পুটিং আপ থিংস ইনফরমেশন অন দ্য ইন্টারনেট ইউজিং দ্য মোবাইল এভরিবডি হ্যাজ গট দ্য হ্যান্ড ফোন লেট देम ইউজ ইট ইন কৃষ্ণের সার্ভিস তো অনেকে ইন্টারনেট ব্যবহার করার মাধ্যমে তাদের সব তথ্য গ্রহণ সংগ্রহ করছে প্রত্যেক হাতে এখন মোবাইল সিল রয়েছে এবং তাদের বলতে হবে সেটা যেন কৃষ্ণের সঙ্গে লাগায় in shrimad bhagavatam we have the example jab barat you know jab barat maharaj had gone to the himalayas and he had become attached to a deer to amra jani jora barat maharaj tini ekjon boro samrat chilen kintu tini himalay ki chilen ebong sekhane giye horer bhute ashukto hoye and so nowadays you know we don't have a deer we're not having we're not it's not so much animals we're attached to but we're attached to this technology we're attached to these mobile phones computers to aage ka dine jemon bharat maharaj himaloy giye horer proti ashokta hoye to ekon ka dine beshi poshutos paoa jacche ekon manush mobile proti internet er proti ashokta hoye we have to use them very carefully নিয়মিত করতে হবে দেখা উচিত যে আপনি কতটা সময় এই ইন্টারনেটে মোবাইলে ব্যবহার করছেন nowadays they have this iphone we have ibag this is ibag to ekhon dekhte hocche iphone royeche abar ibag eta je mala ta chhe ki ibag japa right this is i i for intelligence this is ibag i for knowledge intelligence mane buddhi buddhi so you know don't wear iphone very costly ibag 100 rupees no problem aur iphone er onek dam আপনি <laughs> careful you have to turn it off sometimes so that you can concentrate on japa to apne the sab samoy shotorko thakte hobe jokhon apnara ei sob jinish byabohar korchen apnader dekha uchit je byartho samoy na byartho samoy byartho upoyog na kore jape monodog dewa korche your son is right proper books very good amni the proper boy pore chena bhalo you have to attract him to krishna consciousness he he is attracted to people his own age you have to have a youth group and you have to let him get involved with people his own age apna chhele onek gulo boy porchile bhalo to kintu take hoye sei rokom group er sathe dite hobe youth group er sathe dekha is not interesting so you have to you can't force people you can't force young people into krishna khan you have to attract them you have to make the make the nice program to attract them to interest them to amader jara jubok royeche tader amra jor korte pai na kintu erokom akorshoni onushthan kora hocche jar dara tara akorshito hobe so get him to do some use his technology use his skills to do some service for krishna on the internet you get encouraging yeah we should amra ke হরে কৃষ্ণ মহারাজ আপনার চরণে সহস্র কোটি ধন্যবাদ প্রণাম মহারাজ মানে 
बीमार आता है वो जंत्रणा में है हम लोग जाप नहीं कर पाते हैं तो दीक्षा का समय में पेपर में लिख दिया हूं आज जाप नहीं करूंगा तो कल उसका पे कर लूंगा तो जब मृत्यु का समय है महाराज हम सुना है चालीस हजार कंकड़ा बिछा का काटने का दर्द होता है उस टाइम महाराज हम कैसे भगवान को याद करें Well, that's why we need the association of devotees. We need the devotees to be with us to chant the holy name, to inspire us. We need to hear the holy name from them. The reason why we need to sing is because of the devotee song. The devotee song is important. When we're leaving the body, generally we like to have devotees there with us, and they're chanting the holy name. जबकर हमरे सोई तय को रोशन तो तो कुन भक्तों का धाक में जरा होरी नाम जब को रोमन पसे पसे। Just like you see Prabhupad, you can see Prabhupad's final lesson. Prabhupad was in Vrindavan, and we were all around the bed, everybody chanting. हमारे देखते पसे लोग पोपर इधर अंतिम जाता स्वर में, तो समस्त भक्त पोपर बिंदा वो नहीं चले, तो समस्त भक्तों का ताकि घिरे होरी नाम जब कुछ। So association of devotees is very important for us. जाइ भक्ते संगोट आज तो कुछ बोलते तो ना हमारे जीवन में। It's difficult for us to chant at the time of death, but if we have the devotees there, then that will help us. सही समय जब पुराण तो आपने जो ना कोटी, किंतु जब भक्तों ने था के, तो भक्तों आपके साथ जो मुक्ति वाले भगवान ने चित्त बोलते। Maharaj Kulshikar said. कृष्ण त्वदीय पदपंकज पंचरंत अद्यव मे वशतु मनसराज हंसा प्राण प्रयाण कपये कपवत पतये कंतावरो धनवजो स्मरणम कुतस्ते महाराज कुलशेखर said let me die now while I can still chant the holy name if I hit, wait to the time of death I won't be able to chant तो मार्ग इस लोग का बोल इन कुलसे को एक पार्थना कर रहे हैं जब मित्तु समय आमार कौन तो अवरुद्ध हो जाए तो हम तो कुन भगवान के शान को ते पार बोला तो ये कौन है आमार मित्तु हो जाए कुन भालो रह जी राजा हम्सा the swan of the mind let it be entangled in the feet the lotus feet of Krishna आमार मौन तो जी की राज हम्से ने मतो और सिक्किसने पाद सिक्किसने चरणों जो पद में मतो तो � पादपद्मो मुद्दे आकृष्ण है मन रूपी हंसो। So let's die now, right? Where we can still chant. तो हमारे एक उन्हें चेष्टा करा हुआ थी, जॉब करा हुआ थी। हमारे एक उन्हें मरे थे। हाँ? जाते एक उन्हें मरे थे। या, you ready? Are you ready? आपने की ready आ चुकी है ना कौन? Maharaj said, Vanga only had one moment. Khatta Kumar, one more time, one more time, one more time, Krishna. Hey, you're in the right place. You don't need to go anywhere. Just die now. This is the perfect place to leave the body, right? Maya put down. Hey, hey. We will all chant the holy name. We will chant for you. You can die. We will chant. One devotee left the body. One devotee left the body when he was coming to the, our uh, corner center, coming to the Mayapur. In the train, he left the body. 
very auspicious. বিংস they come me they came to ask for um, fulfill the mission which i was get from my guru dev sri bhakti siddhanta sarswati thakur they came from the spiritual world to so, uh, so uh, from this lecture i uh, we just uh, know that prabhupad has so much love and respect for his disciple if you share some uh, intimate moment which you spend with sila prabhupad with us then we will be highly pleased <laughs> okay popa popa bhaktisan sahab ko bolte hain je popa bolte hain je popa bolte hain je bhaktisan to tar shishya rachi ki bhaktisan sahab ko tar party je dekhi spiritual world theke tar aise tar aise bhagwat dham theke eshe popa bolte hain tar shishya bhagwat dham theke eshe তাকে সাহায্য করার জন্য তো আপনি কি এরকম কোন মুহূর্ত বলতে পারেন যেখানে প্রভুপাদের সাথে আপনার আদান প্রদান হয়েছে অন্তরঙ্গেছেন অন্তরঙ্গ আদান প্রদান আমি খুশি হব আমরা আমরা খুশি হব দ্য প্রভুপাদ সেড দ্যাট হিজ দিস হি সেড দ্যাট ইউ আর অল সেন্ট হি ওয়াজ টকিং अबाउट হিজ ডিসাইপলস হি সেড আই থিংক ইউ হ্যাভ অল বিন সেন্ট হিয়ার বাই মাই গুরু মহারাজ টু হেল্প মি in establishing this krishna conscious mission to prabhupad bolchen je ora shishoder bolten je tumara amar gurudev dara perito ei krishna bhavana mitto prachar korar jonno amar gurudev tomader ekhane party chhe amake sahajjo korar jonno generally devotee is like that devotee will always offer the credit to the spiritual master he thinks i can do anything on my own it's the mercy of my spiritual master sadharan to bhakta ki kore কৃতিত্বটা নিজে নিতে চায় না তো প্রভুপাদের তিনি তার কৃতিত্ব নিতে চাইছেন না তার শিষ্যদের তিনি নিতে চাইছেন সো শ্রীল প্রভুপাদ ওয়াজ ইউ নো বিং ভেরি ভেরি কাইন্ড টু অল অফ আস সেইং লাইক দ্যাট তো প্রভুপাদ এটা বলার মাধ্যমে আমরা বুঝতে পারি তিনি আমাদের প্রতি কতটা করুণাময় ছিলেন প্রভুপাদ ওয়াজ অলওয়েজ ট্রাইং টু টিচ আস ট্রাইং টু ট্রেন আস হাউ টু প্রপারলি সার্ভ কৃষ্ণ হাউ টু how to serve properly what should be our proper mood popa amader sob shomoy amader ussaho dite ki bhabe amra jothoto bhabe krishna seva korte pari jothoto manobhav ni one time one time the the fruit offering was made you know every afternoon in albert road we offer fruits to radha govinda and prabhupada would like to see the fruit what was offered he said bring me some fruit তো পোপা আমাদের আলাগোবিন্দ মন্দিরে জানেন দুপুর বেলাতে ভগবান কি ভোগ লাগানো চারটার সময় তো পোপা বলেন আমার জন্য কিছু ফল প্রসাদ নিয়ে এসো সো ওয়েন ইউ ব্রট দ্য ফ্রুট প্রপার স্টেসি দ্যাট ইট সেড হু ব্রট হু হু ইজ দ্য ওয়ান হু পারচেজ দিস ফ্রুট তো যখন পোপা দের কাছে ফল নিয়ে আসা হতো তখন উনি বলতেন কে ফলগুলো কিনে নিয়ে এসেছে সো দে সেড ওয়াও ইজ ব্রট বাই দিস ওয়ান দ্য ভোটি প্রপার দিস ইজ নো হি ইজ আ লোকাল ম্যান and so he said bring him in here bring him to me to again bolen je je ekhane local ekjon byakti to uni niye eshe to popa bolo oi byakti ke dekhe niye eshe amar kache so when he came in to proper proper said to him he said you are bengali you don't know how to buy fruit this fruit is not good to popa ta bol se byakti jokhon eile popa bolen tumi hocho bangali tumi ja tumi jano na ki phol kinte hoy জগতে ভগবানের জন্য মালা বানাচ্ছিল কিন্তু সেই ফুলগুলো তত সতেজ ছিল না 
And when Prabhupada came and saw the deities and he saw that they did not have nice fresh garlands on the neck, he was very upset. The Pope was on Ellen's in Munti Dorsal Koradunu, Bhagavan Kitunti Dorsal Kursi, the Tegla de Tade, Golatiji Mala Roj, Sigurato, Sotisla, and he said, Something also to stone. He said, Because you have no bhava, you're offering these flowers, this terrible flowers to Krishna. Prabhupada liked flowers which had some fragrance. He said if the flower has no smell, it is like a man who may be very good looking but it has no good qualities. So Prabhupada told them, Je Pungulu Gondo Ne, Sigurlo Che Serekom Bekti, Je Bekti Gulo Dekti Kum Sundar, Kino Tal Kono Gul Ne. Man may be very good looking, but if he's very bad character, it's not good. So Dekti Kum Sundar, Kino Tal Kono Gul Ne, Ba Kur Tal Chori Tati Ne. Same way flower, if it may be look very nice, but no smell, not very good to Krishna. So they thought also Purvulu Bhagavad Gita the Gwanda Nata Gita Shri Bhagavad Gita offer for a particular. Prabhupada taught us to offer the best to Krishna. The Prabhupada was the Sikha Deya said that our Sarche Bhagavad Gita is Utkishto Gita is Bhagavad Gita or Purvulu Bhagavad Gita. One time, you know, Prabhupada liked to use the twig, eucalyptus twig to clean the teeth. Now, Prabhupada is like a daton. So devotee, but one morning we were in the park in London and Prabhupada saw a eucalyptus tree and he said, Oh, can you get me a twig from that tree? So Prabhupada London at a park in Bhavan Kurchin, Tabana eagerly put his gachilo, Tokani Bolanti, or Gachin at a dark in the park, what I'm talking for. So devotee immediately broke a branch off the tree. So Bhakta at a you know, not a big branch, just a little twig from the tree. Immediately the policeman came. London policeman, you know. Oh my goodness. Policeman said, Hey, what are you doing? That's the king's that's the queen's property. You'd only taken one little twig from the tree. <laughs> Prabhupada said, We have taken one little twig. Your England has taken so many jewels from India. <laughs> that crown which is on the head of the Queen of England. The crown jewels, they all come from India. We are little things, you are the big thing. Srila <laughs> so Prabhupada ki. Yeah. Okay, Hare Krishna. Okay. One more question. One more question. One more question. Hare Krishna, Bhagavad Maharaj. Mera ek bohut din se prashna hai Maharaj ki agar Krishna bhakti karke hi manushyo ka jivan, manushya ka jivan Krishna bhakti karke hi antim lach hai. To Bhagavan to sab samarth hai, sab kuch karne mein samarth hai. To Bhagavan ye bhakton ke dwara kyo prachar prasar karvate hai. Jis prakar Bhagavan ne Brahma ka srishti kiya, ab Brahma ka hirde mein gyan bhar diya. just like well, that's it. It's the same. Just like Brahma is is creating the universe. 
It's the same thing. Why didn't Krishna fight battle of Kurukshetra? Why did he have Arjuna fight? Krishna could have done it all himself. Why he took a, told Arjuna to do it? Krishna told Arjuna, Nimita Matra Bhavasabhya Sachin. You just become an instrument in my service. So Krishna is giving us some service to do. You want Krishna to do all the service? We'll just sit back and eat, and eat prasadam and sleep. That is not the devotee mood. Devotee wants to give service to Krishna, not to take service from Krishna. Right, the story is here that uh, Sanatan Goswami was worshipping his deity and you know he only had some wheat and he would just some pieces of atta and he would cook them in the fire and make some kind of bread to offer to Madame Mohan. And Madame Madame Mohan said, no salt. I said, no salt, I don't have any salt. So he was thinking it would be nice to have a big feast for the deity. So that time a girl, little girl came with a big basket of groceries, everything there, atta and, and wheat and oil and spices, everything. She said, my mother sent me to give this to you. So Sanatana Goswami is very happy, wow, wonderful. He starts to cook, he makes a big feast and he offers everything to the deity. And then Rupa Goswami comes by and Rupa Goswami is invited. Sanatana says, I just cooked a big feast, come and take prasadam. Offers to Rupa Goswami. So Rupa Goswami Padita actually Ayajan Kodachiva. Takon Sanatana Goswami Jokon El and Rupa Goswami Kase. So Rupa Goswami said, just a minute, where, where did you get all this? You're living here in the jungle, in the forest of Braja. There's, where did you get all this? All these good things, all these nice vegetables and all these groceries you used to cook all of this. There's no supermarket near here. How did you get all these things? So actually, Rupo <laughs> And Rupa Goswami said, what? A little girl came here in the middle of the forest? Come on. And then he said, what was she like? What was this little girl like? He said, oh, she was a golden color. Oh, on the, and then he went this guy just said, ah, you have taken service from Radharani. Radharani has come here to bring you all these things. And then Sanatana Goswami felt very bad. Oh no, I have taken service. I should want to give service. 
So Krishna orders us in Bhagavad Gita, Nachatas man manushyeshu kaschitme priyakritama. One who teaches this message of Bhagavad Gita is very dear to me. There's no one more dear than that person. So Krishna Bhagavad Gita quotes and kyo ni Bhagavad Gita kani pochar kore. So tarthi ke priyo ar kyo ni hamar kaise? So we just simply have to follow the order of Lord Krishna. <laughs> just like in Jagannath Puri one time, one, the, one man, devotee man, he was saying, it's not good to chant Krishna's name because Krishna is the God and we're the Prakriti. We're like Krishna's wife. Krishna is the Supreme Lord and we're like his wife. The yeah. chaste wife should never say the name of the husband. Jaiwan, actually, the Puri the actor Bhakta told you that we are not Krishna or Pokiti. Our Pokiti means the Sri. We are not Krishna's Sri. Our Jara Shoti Sri, our Kunta Sami Namdhar Nakin. Right, just like Sita, the most chaste wife, she never said the name of Ram. Jaiwan, the Sita, the only one who is so why all you devotees are all saying the name of Krishna? You are all the prakriti of Krishna. You are like Krishna's wife. You shouldn't be chanting the husband's name. So devotees were all quiet. And they said, you just wait. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming. He will answer your question. So when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he told the man, he said, it's the duty of the chaste wife to follow the order of the husband. Krishna has ordered all of his devotees to chant his holy name. So it's our duty to chant the holy name. In the same way, Krishna has ordered all of us to preach his message. If you're not going to follow his instructions, then you are a rascal. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So Maharaj, I'm going to tell you, 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 Maharaj, I'm